Each hybrid technology classroom has a graphics tablet connected to the computer. The graphics tablet along with its stylus allows you to easily annotate shared screens or draw diagrams or formulas in the Zoom whiteboard. The graphics tablet is located within the lectern of the hybrid technology classroom. When considering using the graphics tablet for your instruction, here's a tip. Be sure to dedicate time to practice and familiarize yourself with using a tablet. Two observations that I have is, first, the scale. The tablet is a scaled down surface and it represents the larger computer display. So it takes some practice to get used to writing on something that's maybe a half or third or a fourth smaller than what you're seeing on the computer display. Also, coordination. Some of the tablets don't have a display built into them, so you're writing basically on a black plastic surface that again is scaled from what you see on the screen. So in addition to scaling, it may take some practice to coordinate your hand and eye movement. Another tip is to place the tablet directly in front or right below the display for the computer so it's a more natural uh, coordination of your handwriting and what you see appearing on your computer screen. Here we have a picture of the graphics tablet and the stylus. Let's briefly talk about some use case or examples of integrating the graphics tablet into your Zoom session. The first example would be to annotate. And there are two uses uh, that I could think of for annotating within Zoom. Number one would be if you were to share screen and then select to share your entire desktop. Then whatever you wanted to mark up with, you could use the graphics tablet stylus to mark up whatever applications you were sharing on your desktop through Zoom. So it's just like if you can imagine sharing your desktop with a transparency over the desktop that you could write on. Um, another example of annotating would be if a student or participant was sharing their screen. Same thing, they're sharing their screen, but if you could imagine an acetate or a clear uh, plastic over it that you can just write on their screen. So you're not exactly writing on their content, but you are marking up their shared screen. So in theory, the other participants who are also seeing that student share their screen would benefit from your annotations. Also, Zoom has a built-in whiteboard. So same thing if you go to, in your Zoom session, share screen and select whiteboard, it'll bring up a white space. And that's a really nice place where if you wanted to diagram for your students or do a formula or other course content that is easier to depict in a written form, you can use a Zoom whiteboard to do that and then save those whiteboards as images. So you can save the diagrams as images uh, in the upper right uh, annotate window, save it as a, a JPEG and then use that to share after the your session is finished. Lastly, if you were interested in recording content and annotating the recordings, you can also use your graphics tablet to interact with programs that allow for stylus interactions, such as Adobe Acrobat Pro or a Microsoft PowerPoint. You could work within those uh, softwares using your stylus and record that content for a video to be shared later with the students or participants in your class. Showing and sharing the Zoom whiteboard, you'll first go to the share screen icon in your Zoom session in the lower footer of your frame. Then after you click on share screen, in the share screen menu, you click on the basic tab and on the basic tab, there is a choice to select whiteboard. To show and share your desktop, 
to annotate on it with the graphics tablet and stylus, go to the share screen in the footer of your Zoom session window. Then after you go to share screen on the basic tab, you will click on share screen one, or if you have a second screen, you could click on share screen two. That will then share that desktop with your Zoom participants. You can then annotate on it with your graphics tablet and stylus.